How you doing everyone? Kevin back here with another video. We're going to be building a couple pegboards for the garage and uh, my son called me and said that uh, they had an old pallet out back that they were going to throw away and he asked me if I wanted it so I said yes. At two befores today at seven dollars a pop, guess what? We're going to tear this thing apart and we're going to build our pegboards out of it. So that's what we're doing now. Pulling these, pulling this pallet apart. All right, so there's what we got out of there. We got one board, Livy's working on one board over there. But we got three nice two befores and then some real nice ones out of that. And it was all free lumber. All right, we're gonna work on a couple peg boards, at least ways one for now. Uh, I went to Lowe's uh, last night, me and Julie, and I picked up a four by eight sheet. Well, we got a damaged sheet. The guy, it was, uh, they wanted 19 something for it. And uh, he gave it to me for 15 bucks because it was damaged. I don't care about the damaged part of it. We'll work right around it. It's just a small piece. Right here, you can see it's got a little crack in it. I'm not worried about it. So I got two six foot peg boards, two by six, and then one of them four by uh, two foot. So we're gonna build a two foot one to put behind this wooden bench that we had built. And that's what I'm gonna work with now. And that's why we were tearing the pallets apart. Uh, that big pallet we tore apart, we got three good two-by-fours out of it. So I'm going to make two-by-twos out of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get them stripped down so we can start uh, putting our pegboard together.
Now I got my pegboard built. I think this is going to be pretty sturdy. Um, we got to put the two boards on the back that's going to hold it to the back of that bench. We're going to flip it over, get our measurements, and put our two boards on here. All right, all we gotta do now is get this mounted on the back of that bench and uh, we'll have us a good pegboard. Now we won't be gluing these ones on because we, we wanna be able to take this off. We got us a pegboard. Alright, I found an old fence board in the backyard that Brandon was using for the fence. 
it's got a broken edge on it, but I think it'll work just fine right up on top of there. And that'll give me just a tiny little shelf to put some stuff on there. Like uh, maybe uh, some WD-40 or little stuff. I think a little shelf is better than no shelf. Now if we want to put our WD-40 up there, we can. This gives us a little extra place to put stuff. You can drill your drills up there if you want it. If you want it. I think it'll work out. It looks pretty good. So I do have some pegs. I have a little bit of pegs. I'll probably get started uh, putting some pegs up there and getting some wrenches on there. I don't have many tools. Well, I didn't have many tools here. And I was waiting to get something like this put up so I could uh, get my tools set up. Got to have them tools set up to where you can grab them. You got to know where they're at when you need them. Actually, we can put our finch, our little charger up here. I think that'll work out good for a battery charger. Alright, that's a nice pegboard. I think it turned out great. Really nice. Alright, we got a little bit of the tools hung up there. I mean, that's going to help us out uh, being able to work a little bit more. We got to get some pliers down here. Once we get some pliers and, you know, we're just trying to get all the basic tools. So that's looking better. I'm missing a few wrenches, but they're down there in the garage somewhere. We'll get them and get them hung up. All right, as you can see, we're getting a little bit more on the pegboard. It's looking good. Uh, the workbench has been working out great. Uh, so I would like to tell everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.